Welcome. I'm really excited to introduce you guys today to someone named John Benson. If you haven't heard about him, he's a uh, famous copywriter. He's the inventor of the video sales letter. Uh, John's driven over $1.3 billion or $1.2 billion earned for his clients uh, through his video sales letter. Um, he's generated over 110,000 leads using lead quizzes and he's been able to like offset that. Uh, he's been able to sell those leads immediately after the quiz offsetting all the advertisement costs. So I'm really excited to introduce you guys today to John and walk through his quiz funnel. So welcome, John. Hey, good to see you, Jeremy. Awesome. All right, so let's jump right in. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to kind of walk through the process, but real quick, just to run through the stats. So right now, uh, John, you've generated over 110,000 leads. I think it's been over the course of about a year. Mm -hmm. um, on average, you've been paying about 39 cents per lead. Um, your quiz conversion rate has been about 39%. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the sales stats, as we mentioned, you've been able to at least break even on the sales immediately after the quiz with the products that you're selling. And then you have some affiliate offers you're selling afterwards. So we've been running like a thyroid quiz for like weight loss uh, related people. So on my screen, you kind of see this uh, thyroid assessment, answer a few carefully selected questions and discover how the thyroid gland plays a major role in our body. So um, we use some like short copy here. Um, anything you want to add about this before we jump into the quiz? Um, it's just very, the, my book was originally called the four day diet, which you can see at the top. Mm -hmm. That was the original name of the book. And of course it's a, it's a catchy name because you're not really sure what I mean by a four day diet. And we added, we created a, a diet called the four day thyroid diet. And all I did was add the word thyroid because, um, all of our data came back showing that thyroid was just really, really hot. And, you know, like people like um, Isabel and other people have, have shown that it's been very hot over the past couple of years. Um, it still is. So if you have a product or, or service that's running well, look for keywords and see if, it, if that particular keyword fits with your product. In our case, the diet is ideal for thyroid because we already talk about uh, in, in the diet, it's, it's, just, it's just already talking about uh, very low uh, gorderific foods that we, you know, that people don't know that a lot of foods that they can eat can cause this kind of mm -hmm. thyroid dysfunction. So it fit perfectly. We didn't have to do it. We, we only added one chapter of the book. My, my partner's a doctor, medical doctor. And so he just added a chapter of the book on thyroid and presto, we had four day thyroid diet and these leads became even more pertinent, even more specific. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought that up, John. I remember like when we first started working with you, I think your cost per lead was around like a dollar, two dollars per lead. Yeah. Um, and so like adding the thyroid uh, section to it, like that eventually got your cost per lead down to about 39 cents. So a huge uh, reduction in, in lead costs and obviously lets you grow your list a lot faster. Uh, but that's a great point. I think like if you can get more specific as opposed to running a quiz, say around like weight loss, being able to run something around, you know, uh, what's the cause of your weight loss? Is it your hormones? Is it your thyroid? Like mm -hmm. what are some of these different angles that you can take that are a little bit more targeted than just generic weight loss? Right, right. Yep. Great point. So um, let's go take a look at your quiz next. So looking at some of your advanced reporting, we saw that there was a little bit of drop off going from the start page, which was prior to this to the question. So I know you guys are split testing that right now, uh, but pretty much once people hit these questions, like one through 10, you had pretty much a hundred percent completion. Right. And then uh, ultimately from people that viewed the quiz to like lead capture was 39%. So um, really good job with the quiz. So if we go through this, you know, have you tried to lose 10 or more pounds in the past two years? Um, we asked some questions. I think some of the things that you do a really great job with, John, is like, um, as you see the questions and answers, like it's very simple and it's very quick uh, and easy to get through. So advertising this on Facebook, you know, people haven't set, a, set aside 10 minutes to answer a quiz or a lot of time to think about it. So Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I wrote the, qu the, the quiz questions, I mean, as you can tell, we were trying to use like eight words <laughs> maximum for these questions because people can read, see, the, yeah, it, even this could be, you know. Notice how short they are. <laughs> this yeah. is the longest one. Uh, so if you get, my advice for quiz writing is if you go with writing shorter questions at first, then when you get to longer questions, people are already committed. So they've already got that micro commitment. The shorter the questions are at first, the better. Yeah. yeah and I think that's huge. Cause like, like, like we said, like going from like question one through 10, that's pretty incredible. You're getting people to take 10, 10 steps and literally like your, your drop off, I think was 95% or more people were getting through. Like yeah. it was very, very high. Yeah. It's very high. Yeah. So we get through here, you know, thank you for completing the quiz, enter your information below to get your results. Um, so yeah. Just the one thing I want to point out is that the one thing that, that Jeremy's guys do so well um, is notice how sparse this quiz is. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's very clean, right? And it should be, it should, there, there should be nothing on this page. It's fancy or data. -wise. I mean, not, no, so we don't have tons of the graphics or anything. So. 
yeah, you want to keep them super focused. So something pretty cool here. Um, we had like a results page before, and I think you were actually getting a high amount of people clicking from the results page to your sales page. Like it was upwards of like 70%. Mm -hmm. um, but when we came out with like the outcome uh, redirect, which meant you could put it in your own URL for the results, what we found is like we could push 100% of the people to your sales page. Right. Yeah. So we're so going to work 100% right when they click the enter button. Yeah. Yeah, so that worked really good. And so what you did was you basically put the results as like the headline. So for this one, like based on what I said, the quiz results, you're at a high risk of, uh, um, you know, your diet and lifestyle being affected by thyroid function. Right. Um, so do you want to walk us through, John, what you got, what you're doing on this page? Yeah, so this page is your typical direct response kind of page. Uh, obviously, uh, since I created video sales letters, we're using one. Uh, notice the video sales letter does not play automatically. That's because as if you guys are running traffic, you know that, that Facebook frowns on, on videos that, that autoplay. That's one of the things that, that get, you get, get you flagged. So we went with a click the play button. That one graphic is uh, showed to be almost equal to an autoplay VSL. Not as good, but it's very close. So that's the, the that one graphic was very, very important. Um, decided to put the quiz results at the very top of the page. Um, and we look at you know the results based on what most people are going to be going through the quiz. They're, they're uh, thyroid function is going to be uh, suppressing thyroid function is very high. Uh, there's multiple headlines that we, we we are going to test here. For example, we could say uh, your, your diet and lifestyle has put your thyroid functioning very low. So it's kind of backwards of what we're saying here. But we, right now we're going with high and very high as the two the two concerns, or I think moderate, high, very high. Um, and then we just tell what it, what that means. So so rather than sending them to a quiz results page. We just wanted to wa we wanted to watch the video sales letter, and then the rest of it's just pretty straightforward. I mean, you know, we've got the uh, the, the graphics, which makes sense once you see the very first part of the video sales letter. Uh, we've got you know where I've been seen in in, in throughout all my history through and below many many other magazines could be could be there, uh, and, and same with Dr. Picasso, my partner. Uh, and then of course down there you, you get the strategies that you that you learn how to deal. And and this is on a time buy button, just in case. You guys don't know this, so it's pretty simple. The video sales letter has to reach a certain point before you see the buy button and then drops down with buy button and graphics. So pretty straightforward okay. right out of my accelerator formula. Awesome. Yeah. So I mean you could you could talk extensively on video sales letters. You obviously have a course called Accelerator where you teach this, but just yeah. a high level real quick, like what are you covering in the VSL? Like where you're connecting them from the results to ultimately like purchasing from you where a button shows up after a certain amount of time to buy. Yeah, it was, what's really interesting is we did the VSL before we did anything related to this quiz. So there, the, in the VSL, if memory serves, there's not any mention of the quiz at all, which is why we put it in the headline. So the VSL starts off, can you guess which one of these seven foods is the, is the worst food for, you, for your thyroid? And we threw these foods at you that you would think would be healthy foods, and then broccoli is thrown all in All the foods there. on the background image. Yeah, so, uh, we're, yeah, we're throwing the foods in the background, but also ice cream and things like that. Mm -hmm. And in reality, the, the, the answer is broccoli. It's, it, it's quite a terrific food, and, and it, it's been known to impair our th function for people who are thyroid sensitive. And it's just a hook to get people to go. So believe it or not, some of the healthiest foods you think are healthy are actually impairing your thyroid. Uh, soy, and we, we cover the four worst foods in the VSL. Like, what are the four worst foods for your thyroid? Which was, by the way, our original headline um, before we started going with the quiz result. It is our a current headline on the non-quiz page is uh, uh, four hidden thyroid killing foods, something like that. Uh, so that is a that is a good headline. Um, we could probably use it on this one too. This, these were tests. Now that I see this, is that I'd say, well, maybe we should run that as a split test. But uh, but anyway, this is the I'm giving you the overview basics here. And so we start off with about a minute or so of still video footage, meaning stock video footage rather. So, so we didn't shoot any of this video. We just bought it and we're using, um, we're using the VSL copy. Notice the VSL is showing up on every page. The copy is still there. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing this almost like a closed caption look, right? Well, this was a hot VSL technique that guys like Biotrust was using. In fact, this page is pretty much modeled after Biotrust, and I was writing their VSLs for a while. Uh, so anyway, just took what was working. And then it goes straight slides. A after this intro, it goes right into the standard old VSL slides, which still outperforms everything else. So the cool trick here is that you can take a VSL and just make the first 30 seconds to a minute of it with this style of animation and it's cheaper than doodle art it's much faster to produce than doodle art and it gives you you don't need to do the whole video like this once you get someone locked into this it's, it's pretty locked in so I, our first thousand words is what we had chose to animate here i think it was 800 to a thousand words but that was okay. it the rest of it's just all slides 
Okay, cool. And so the product that you sell after this is the information product, right? Yes, you're right. So huge thing here in, when, especially if you're selling supplements. So we front in with an info product, a four day thyroid diet, which is an info product. And then we back in with supplements. So just FTC, FDA issues with supplements, especially when you're talking about thyroid, even though our supplement has, it's, we use all the right terminology. There's no, there's no continuity. I mean, we, we've got like, our, our page is crystal clean as far as uh, the the claims and all that stuff that is made. But even with that, I just got back from Joe Polish's Genius Network meeting and hanging around all these supplement guys going, it, it, they'll, they'll still come after you if, you if your revenue gets too high. And, but if you have a front end product that's digital, it's a lot easier to say, hey, people that bought what you just bought also bought this to help support their the result. And then it's just a shoe in, right? It's a very simple thing to do. And we've tested selling the supplement direct, which does get pretty decent conversions. But this one, uh, the, the supplement direct on a cold list is around $1.10 EPC. And this is around $1.70. So we're getting a little higher EPC on, on really warm lists rather. Not on a cold track. But on, okay. So $1.70 EPC, meaning earnings per click. So the amount yeah. of people that see yeah. that offer. So yeah. um, John, so you take them through this video sales letter. How long is that? Uh, 55 minutes. Okay. So we're hitting them with like a lot of education and building a lot of value. And then, so what's the price point you're selling your information product for? Uh, $39.95. $39.95. Okay. And then are you doing anything to build up, like making that a compelling uh, offer or is like the video sales letter is building a lot of that education and trust? Oh right yeah. There? yeah. Yeah. It's it. I mean, I, every VSL trick I talk in accelerator, it would take us an hour to go through it, but yeah, it's all in there. Uh, you know, from, you know, value proposition, value building, price drops, uh, you know, pattern interrupts. I mean, <laughs> Constant open loops. I mean, everything I talk about is throughout the VSL, and I was quite frankly surprised it converted as well as it. When we first launched this, to some of our lists, we're getting four dollar EPCs, which is insane. I've never gotten a four dollar EPC for my own products, but I did on this offer to my own list, and they didn't know I wrote it because, as you can tell, there's not my name's not even mentioned on here. So mm -hmm. it wasn't because it was my product, which is kind of cool. I mean. So the, yeah, and so my list is was really responsive to this because my list is a is an older list. People are over forty, so thyroid issues is, are even more more pertinent to them. So, okay, awesome. So the the time button comes up. They click on it. It takes them to an order page, and then we pulled up yeah. uh, after they put in their credit card information. It takes them to an upsell. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, and our order page just to say I'm not going to show it to you, <laughs> but buy the product if you want to see it. Um, uh, I'm kidding you, but yeah, I, I just don't want to. The order page just we're using software projects as a platform, and I had to redesign and, and retool their existing order form. Uh, we doubled our conversions on just by doing that, so doubled our, our, our order form. But we cut our order form and ban abandonment in half. I'm going to get this out right by redesigning the page uh, by making the page much more. Uh, friendly and, and powerful. So, That's so huge. yeah, that is huge. So all these things add up to getting leads that are, you know, around 39 cents because that, that, by the way, that 39 cents cost per lead. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know if that includes what, what, what that includes in that 39 cents. So, so maybe you, you want, you want to explain that, but, uh, um, but yeah, that's, that's to get, to get it down that low takes a team effort for sure. <laughs> you know, it takes us tweaking our pages, you know, Jeremy's team is always tweaking, you know, Hey, we're, we're going to try some new ad stuff here. We're going to do this. So they're really good at that. Um, so yeah, it was working together. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it definitely takes a lot of time. Like we mentioned, I think uh, first month or two, like, you know, you had a higher lead cost until we, we tweaked a lot of stuff. You tested a lot of stuff. And so um, if you're watching this video, um, you know, you launch a quiz, maybe you're not getting the results that you want right away. Like, what it comes down to is measuring like the different steps in your funnel and then like choosing to optimize. So it's like what we found with John where like uh, we like people going through the quiz, like they weren't dropping out, but they were dropping out at the start page and dropping out at the lead capture page. So split testing, should we use the start page or not? Or split testing on the lead capture, we could test things like, you know, uh, enter this form to get your results and uh, be entered into a drawing to win, you know, a hundred dollar, gift certificate or something like some things like that to see if we can improve conversion. So, yeah. 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 So you continue to do that. So like, then you just take them through some upsells here with some different products. Um, and then I believe you said, uh, your average cart value ended up being, uh, over like $50. Um, yeah, it was closer to 60 and it, it, the lowest it's been that I know of is 53. Okay. So, but it's been as high as 62. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So you've done a really good job, John, again, over 110,000 leads and been able to monetize them immediately after. So pretty much offset all the costs of advertisement, built your list for free. 
Um, and now you can continue to market and advertise to them different affiliate offers and different things like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys have done a great job. Very cool. Awesome. Well, John, thanks so much for sharing. I know our, our audience is going to love this. So thank you. Cool, man. No problem.